Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate High Level with any other website built outside of High Level, whether it's Webflow, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to put your clients' leads into their High Level sub account and then nurture them with text follow-ups, email follow-ups, calls, whatever you want to do to turn those people into paying clients. So you're going to make your clients more money, so they're going to keep paying you, they're going to be happy and great. And so just so you know that I'm not blowing hot smoke here, you can see this is me receiving an award at the High Level Summit last year. And this is going to allow us to take more control and credit over our clients' results. Because every time they're getting a lead from their website or from the chat widget or from an appointment booking, we can say, hey, new appointment from your business name. We can text them that notification or new lead from your business name. Where even though you might not be actively working on something for your client, you're always at top of mind because every time they're getting a lead, you're texting them and saying, hey, we just got you a new lead from your business name. And if you stick around to the end, I've got an awesome surprise for you. I worked probably 20, 30 hours on this. And if you want to make more money with High Level and you might do websites or automation stuff within High Level for your clients, it's gonna be very beneficial to you. So let's just go ahead and dive in. So the first thing is actually figuring out what are we gonna embed on the site, right? Are we gonna embed a calendar? Are we gonna embed a form? Are we gonna embed a chat widget? And good news is it's basically the same process for everyone. It just depends on creating it in high level. So if you were to go to create a form, you just go to sites and then forms, and then you wanna grab this basic contact us form. All you do is you go here and you can just click on integrate and then you can copy this embed code. So it's gonna copy it to your clipboard. This is gonna allow you to do a couple things. So you can edit this if you want it to not actually be embedded just on the page. If you want it to be a pop-up form or a sticky sidebar where it comes through and you can change when it comes in, if it comes in on the first visit, second visit, and then you can also change whether you wanna deactivate it once the lead is collected. And so just for this example, we're just gonna do an inline because we actually want it to be visible on the page at all times. And we're just gonna copy that embed code even though we already did, click on done. And then let's take this to Wix. I'm gonna show Wix and Squarespace as examples. This is their old Wix form. Just click on this plus button and then go to embed code here and just popular embeds. We're gonna just do embed HTML. And from here, we can just paste that code that we copied to our clipboard right here. We're gonna click on update. And then now you can see, we just have to adjust the formatting. And so you can also do this in the settings section of your of your high level account so when you're in here editing the forms you can edit all the styling and all the colors and stuff like that in here but when it comes to the website you can just see we can make it visible etc and then you, you literally just save and click publish you obviously want to delete this and now what this is going to do is now that we have this form on the website let's see this is the basic contact us form now we can go into the automations and we can create something awesome so this is just a sample automation you go to automations create workflow and just click on select a recipe and this is just an example of a lead nurture workflow but what you can do is you can trigger it off of a form being submitted and so if you don't add a filter to this trigger right here if you don't add a filter it's going to trigger off all forms being submitted so we want to go ahead and add a filter and we can do form is basic contact form so that's the one we have embedded on the site and so now anytime somebody embeds this uh, fills out this form on their site it's going to fire off this automation now that contact information is automatically in the client sub account and now we can follow up with them so you can send text you can send emails you can add an opportunity to the pipeline so you can track how many leads they're getting what their conversion rate is and stuff like that so it's gonna be a very similar process in Squarespace. So you just wanna log into the site um, and you wanna just click on edit per normal. And once you go here, you can just click on find where you wanna put it and you just click on add block. And you just wanna add an embed and you can pull this over. It's gonna look really weird in Squarespace, just like the way it previews. But once you actually save it, then it will it'll look better. And so you can see it says like at the top, it says like, preview and safe mode it's like adding a little attachment to it that's making it look weird but anyways you can just edit it to your liking here and then once you save it on the site and preview it then you can see it looks normal so if we save and exit here you can see it looks normal so it just pops up here obviously we can move it or whatever but that's all you have to do to embed it and if you wanted to embed a calendar it's the same way so if you go to if you go to your high level account and you just go to calendars and we go to calendar settings all you want to do is click on these three dots right here and you want to click on share and you want to click on embed code and you can just copy this embed code right here and then once again you can just paste that in this edit code section so when it instead of the embed code being the form you can just put the calendar one there and then let it update here 
and it should populate. So there you go. Yeah. So you can see just a testing calendar. People can book, et cetera. And then if you wanted to put that automatically into a workflow, that contact's automatically going to be created and it's automatically going to show up under the calendar appointments. If you go just to calendar, you'll see it'll automatically show up right here. But if you want to add that to some sort of workflow to um, you know, update an opportunity so that they can track how many appointments they booked and how many people showed, or if you want to send reminders and stuff, same situation, you just trigger it off of customer booked an appointment. And then from there, you can just do in calendar and make sure it's the proper calendar so that you're not um, you know, triggering off of every calendar. And then you can go through and edit all these actions to nurture those leads and turn them into paying customers for your clients. And the one other thing that you might want to do to embed is you might want to embed a chat widget onto the site. And so that's actually a little different. So some of them, you can still just add them to the front end right here. Like you can just add them to the front end of the site with just an embed code, just like we did the other things. But for example, with Wix, what you have to do is you have to go to settings and you'll, it'll pop up right here and just scroll down custom code. And what you want to do is you want to add this to the body code. And I think it gives you instructions on, on um, high level, but if you go to sites and then you go to chat widget, you can create a new chat widget. You're probably going to do the SMS and email chat just to collect the leads. And then you can come in here and you can edit this. So you can change the colors, you can change the person's face, you can change this like face right here to your client's face or their logo, et cetera. You can change the position, where it goes on the screen. And then when you want to embed it, you just save it and you just click on get the code. And then you can just copy this. And then from there, you can just embed it into the body code right here. And custom load once, body code start apply and then you can see make sure it's turned on and then if you go and you visit the website you can see yep right there you can see the widget was just embedded and now they can collect leads and it'll send them their way so when somebody fills out the chat widget on the site if you want to add them to a workflow the trigger that you do for that is actually a little bit different and so you can't just click on add new trigger here in the workflow and then type in like chat widget or something. It actually doesn't pop up. What you have to do is you have to do customer replied, customer replied, and then you do reply channel and reply channel is chat widget. And what that's going to do is anytime somebody like engages or fills out the form or you know asks a question in that chat widget, it's going to automatically pull it in here. And then now you have that contact in here. You can notify the client that you got them a lead from the chat widget and you can follow up appropriately. Like I said before, if you stick around to the end, I have a free surprise for you. So anybody that signs up with my affiliate link down below to a 30 day free trial to high level or to upgrade your plan from the 297 to the 497 or 97 to 297, et cetera, will get access to this school community. So what we have in this school community is have over 100 people active, engaged. We have two coaching calls every week. And then also in this classroom tab, you can see I have a whole bunch of content about how I sell high level to local business owners, helping them get more reviews. I have sales call recordings in here. I have onboarding call recordings. I have my snapshot and how to plug it in. And then also you'll get access to this website plus SaaS model. So what this is, this is going to be a snapshot that I've built out that this is an example of the website that it builds right here. So basically it's a snapshot where every single value that's on this website is custom valued out. So you can just plug in the custom values for a client and you can create a website for them in 15, 20 minutes. And so you can see all of these FAQs are custom values. So FAQ number one, FAQ number two, uh, one answer and you can just plug those in using AI you can actually do it automatically nowadays and you can see this isn't just like a one page site this is actually I think a 12 or 13 page site where we have information on this is service two page service three page and on every single page you can see there's content unique content and not even that but it's actually all SEO optimized so you can see the heading tags are proper it's H, only one H1 and then H2s go down. You can see all these keywords are added dynamically to the back end of the West website using custom values. Uh, you can see business name and then their main keyword. All this stuff is added automatically through custom values. And so this allows you to build an SEO optimized site that's 14 pages, I think. And you could sell it for $1,000, $2,000, but you can build it in about 30 minutes. And so here's an example of the template. And if you just want to change a custom value, you want to edit the site, you can just go to like type in logo into custom values and boom, you can change the logo image with the logo link and that changes it everywhere. Or if you want to change the business name, 
to your onboarding new client, you can change the business name right here. And so what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow you to build these websites really quickly and really sell them for whatever you want. Whether you wanna sell them for $99 a month, whether you wanna sell them for $1,500, you can do either one. So if you sign up with my affiliate link down below, you'll get access to this snapshot and some training on how you can utilize it and set up your uh, websites for your clients very quickly. Hope this helps. If you like this video and you wanna see how I make about $20,000 per month selling Google review automation services to local business owners with High Level, click on this video right here. I think you'll like it.